guys, what the heck's up? It's me, Almighty Maddie, and I am doing a monster showcase. Ah! So let's. I'm just gonna get right into it because I'm impatient. So this first guy is Diggy Dug. He's the new rock monster. I've taken quite a different approach with my rock monsters, but I'm back to making them purple. But now he's a furry mole dude. His name is pronounced Diggy Dug. Ah! I'm starting to write pronunciations now because, yeah, I'm gonna, by the way, I've started giving them facts too, so I'm gonna read their bio. Diggy Dogs constantly have to deal with eyesight issues. It's not because they live in the dark and aren't used to the light, no. They're actually very extroverted and spend most time outside sunbathing. I think I spelled that right. The real deal is the fact that Diggy Dugs poke themselves in the eyes while digging. They're also pretty happy and consider their eyebrows dope as heck and feel the need to have a rad nickname such as Double D Digga. Double D Digga, but don't call them Big D. They see it as, like, super weird. Wink, wink, nudge. And now for his facts. FACT! A Diggy Dug sometimes refer to themselves as a dude bra, whatever that means. FACT! They refer to what most monsters call jokes as dank memes. These guys have a weird dictionary. And FACT! Diggy Dugs dream of doing what they call a dab and say monsters only do it when they sneeze, but they do it wrong. So now here is Fulu and Yumbuzra, the plant and fire monsters, Yumbuzra is up to no good. <laughs> okay. So this is Fulu, the new plant monster. Not much to talk about his appearance. Uh, excuse me. Believed to be some of the most kind-hearted monsters around, Fulus will never stop hugging. No, hang on. Will never, will never stop hugging other monsters. Jeez, I can't read this. Heck, Fulus have a ten tendency to grow on them almost immediately. Eh? Uh, I can't do puns. When you're feeling down, a Fulu will be happy to give you a mushroom. It's not exactly a daisy, but it should do, and... Fact! A Fulu... I'm not gonna say fact like that whenever I say they're facts. So, a Fulu's mushrooms grow like acne, but they don't mind it, and... Fulu's, rather than hatching from an egg, sprout from the ground. You don't wanna know how, and if you do, I won't tell you. Um... This is Yumbuzra, the fire monster. These little hotheads are undeniably mischievous. They are known for committing crimes, but no one really cares. With those feathers on their back, able to be unite, able to be ignited at will, and their and a mischievous nature. Good lord, Yumbuzra spell a disaster. In caps. They also have an overly cuddly side, but it doesn't get shown too often as monsters are constantly on edge around them. Now for their facts. A Yumbuzra's feathers fall off after being ignited, then they grow back. And Yumbuzra's use their long arms to be slap from a distance. Hew hew. Um, this one I'll showcase later because I made an air fire monster before I made the air monster. Monster! Good lord. So this is Blue Erp, the new water monster. I really like him. And I know he looks like one of the new, the new Ultra Beasts from Pokemon, but I don't care. I think he looks fabulous. No one knows if a blo if a Blue Orp is groundbound or floats. They live in the water, which for them is the ground, as they can slide across the surface of a mass of water and stay there for most of their lives. But they can float. And they do so mostly to migrate and to do excellent ghost performances during October. And now for their facts. Blue orbs have no organs, so they digest food in their watery bodies. Like, you just put some food in, it just goes, uh... Because water can make everything soggy. And a blue orb's vision underwater is just as good as a monster's vision on land, which is pretty good vision. And I mean, like, um... How we see things on land, like when we're out of the water and not wearing goggles, a blue orb can see like that underwater. Okay, so, um, I'll showcase the air monster, um, second to last because she's got a whole lot of info. So this is Bominaba. Bominaba. <laughs> I didn't say the other pronounces, dang it. 
Well, Blue Warp is Blue Warp, and Yum Buzzra is Yum Buzz Ra. Good lord. So, oh, by the way, Abominabuzz design has a pun in it. <laughs> if you notice it, tell me what it is in the comments. Joey, what, what are you staring at? Huh? Okay. This what? may seem- No, nothing! This may seem ironic, but Abominabuzz- But Abominabuzz never get cold feet. If anything, that fluffy fur coat makes them kind of warm. So they- so they trim the arm and leg coats, but they do grow back. So Abominabuzz, so Abominabuzz travel to color lands just to, just to cut their fur. Now that's dedication. Now for their facts, a baby Abominabuzz is called a Bomini, and another fact, a crowd of Abominabuzz is called a storm, like a snowstorm or something. And they're kind of like the rednecks of the monster world. I don't know if I wrote that down or not. That light is making, um. Bunja here's eyes glare like heck. So this is Bunja, the air monster. It comes from bound because they're both air bound and ground bound. So they have two forms. They have a hang on a sec. Focus. Uh -oh. excuse me, a ground bound form and an air bound form for when they fly and when they don't fly. I've got a whole page dedicated to info. So bio Oh, the Bunja. They seem to be the most highly evolved monsters. Jeez, I've used the term highly evolved too much in my monsters' bios. With multiple sets of wings, different form. Wait, hang on. With multiple sets of wings, different forms. Holy moly! But evolution of evolution aside, Bunjas are very enthusiastic monsters. They're all about keeping others happy, which can be complicated. But Bunjas are all about things being complicated. Now for their four facts just revolving around flight. Bunjas can change densities, which can assist in flight and obtaining traction. Um, Bunjas can change forms the same way they change density, densities, which is increasing the, and decreasing the distance between atoms, like Ant-Man and Vision. Bunjas can change poofiness of their feathers, slick back for flight, and bunch together and fluffy for the ground. Um, ugh! during winter, bunjas fly with poofier fur to keep warm, which is complicated, but they're all about complicatedness, and bunjas can rotate their wings at the shoulders. Okay, wait, no, wrong drawing. Which is what this is, it's their wings rotating at the shoulders. So now I can showcase Fitha, the air fire monster. Jeez, she is a mess. Um, and the organization is completely horse crud. Even with their dazzling feathers and wings, Fithas can't fly with their crazy density, which they inherit from their, um, Bunja parents. Them being able to change density results in Fithas having a crazy big density, which makes them really heavy. Um, even with their dazzling feathers and wings, Fithas can't fly with their crazy density. But it's not like they want or need to fly, as those feathers do leave smoke trails, if... Never mind that. They're better known to be for performers than monsters, bird, titans of the sky. That's such a short bio. Now for the facts. Their horns are similar to a Yumbuzra's arms, genetic makeup-wise. And sadly, they can't fly due to their extreme density. The monster world planet's gravity sucks them downward due to them being so heavy, which is why they can't fly. All right, I gotta reorganize the pages. And by the way, um, with new um monsters coming, that I am gonna do new far outs, but I I've already made the poison plasma far out, but I can't showcase it yet because I need to make the poison and plasma far outs. Um, so, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are happy with my choice about bringing back the monster showcases. I certainly am because I've, I've missed my monsters! Um, so, yeah, that's all I got for this showcase. And good but Wait! I gotta showcase the the messages, the secret messages of their um, 
picture that they made and that I actually made. Hang on a sec. Yeah, I did. That was all the hopes. I drew the picture myself. Just so I could make a lovely teaser video. But who cares? So, um, each of their weird little picture things has a secret message. Um, Diggy Dugs here is Dank Memes. I had to remember his. Uh, name. It's Dank Memes because they're such a dude, bro, and they love them some memes. Um, Bomb and a Buzz is It's Ice to Meet You! <laughs> um, what the heck is her name? What did I call her? Yumbuzra. Yumbuzra's is Kabam, as in an explosion because she's a fire monster. Bam. Yeah. The heck are you watching? What are you watching, Joey? Okay. Um, what did I call this guy again? Fulu. Fulu's secret message is ground bound because plants and they can't fly. Um, I think this one was really easy. Hang on, what did I call him? What did I call him? Dang it. Hmm, I keep forgetting their names, which is really bad. Blue Erp. Blue Erp's Blue secret message was just. Bubbles, because bubbles. And, um, Bunja's secret message was head in the clouds, because they can fly, and their their heads are always in the clouds. 